Bay City roller Les McKeown has passed away leaving family and friends of the band devastated. The Edinburgh singer died suddenly on Tuesday at the age of 65. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and press bell icon for more trending news. His former manager John McLaughlin who dealt with his comeback shows in 2015 and broke the news after being called by Les's wife Keiko. John said, I'm very sad and shocked and so is Keiko, his wife. She is heartbroken and called me from LES single quotes phone with the news. I picked up and thought it was Les wanting a chat. I'm still in shock right now, I spoke to him last week and he was on great form and happy about life and happy to book his tour. We were friends as well as working partners. He was hoping to get it all going again and he was one of the hardest working men in the music industry. We got on so great and he was great fun to be around. He had his moments but was always a good laugh to be around and a great performer. He added, he was a great singer. The Bay City Rollers were the biggest band in the world in the mid-70s and beyond. They had their own TV show in Rollermania. They flew the flag for Scotland and made me think as a wee boy watching the telly you can be a pop star and in music and they meant a lot to me getting involved in music and the industry and the clothes and the hair and image were brilliant and the gang mentality was amazing. I'm honored to have worked with them. Keiko confirmed later on Lezza's Facebook page. It is with profound sadness that we announce the death of our beloved husband and father Leslie Richard McKeown. Leslie died suddenly at home on Tuesday the 20th of April 2021. We are currently making arrangements for his funeral and ask for privacy after the shock of our profound loss. Thank you. Keiko and Jubei McKeown. Stuart Woody Wood, guitarist with the band who had worldwide hits with Bye Bye Baby, Shanganang, on Saturday night said, I am upset and shocked to hear this very sad news. Les and I had our differences over the years but even though we had disagreements we are sending our heartfelt condolences to Keiko his wife and his son Jubei and all the Bay City Rollers fans. It's a sad day in Bay City Roller history. He was a great performance on stage and he was full of energy. I was readying when Les first came into the band and I saw his first gig when he took over from Nobby Clark and injected new life into the band. I was 15 and he was 17. I joined properly when I turned 16 in 74. He had lots of energy on stage. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and press bell icon for more trending news.